Here you go now. I created now the roof. Oops, wait. Site view. And then for the ground floor is here. And for the second floor is here. So we can label the, the rooms according to their name by going here. See, you can see here the um, arrow has a pull down menu. You can uh, collapse it. Let's collapse for a while, and you so you will see everything. Okay, so this one in the side, I have one building and I have two drawings attached. And for that building, I have two floors: the ground floor and the second floor. And from the for the ground floor, you can see I have lots of rooms. Uh, the sejour, sale the bain, hall, chamber one, water closet, garage, and I think this is the lobby to WC. So I rename it. If you can see it in the ground floor here, I rename, rename it W. I lobby to WC. So for the second floor, let's go to the second floor here. You can see that I have how many? Let's name it according to the label in the AutoCAD. Here, this is the second floor for this house. This area is called the Salon Mezzanine and Chamber 5, 4, 3, and 2. Let's label it according to that one. So for the first one, let's say it's the Salon Mezzanine. And then the next one is the chamber two, if I'm not mistaken. Chamber two, right? And then this one is chamber three. And this one is chamber four. And the last one is the chamber five. So there you go, we already labeled it. You can do that here by double clicking it and then type the label. All right, now I would like to show you how I did the roof. You may be wondering how I did the roof. Second floor, ground floor. Okay, you can see here, there's an option here in, uh, in these tabs. There's a roofs. If you click it, you can select lots of different types of roofs where double pitch roof is the best one which is actually in the drawing here that's why I choose it and all you have to do all you have to do is to just drag and click on the dark side or on the roof like that see now it's double I will undo it because it will become double so just click and drag and you, you, you just need to adjust it on the elevation, move, right click, up or down. So like that. If you can see it here, it will change now. See the windows are floating. Sorry, I will undo it now. Okay, so it will be just like that. So just drag and drop the roof to the dark, dark, dark color of the building. Because once you drag it here in the light color, you cannot, you cannot drag it. It will not be accepted. So you need to drag it here. See, if you see the, the icon for the cursor is changing, it's with a plus. So it's like, it's okay. All right. Now, let's go and put some light. Or probably, I will show you uh, later. Let's do the lighting later. I will show you first the, the second floor and the plan. So it's the plan and it's the 3D view for the second floor. Okay, so this is now the um, second floor. Wow. Oopsie. Okay, so Muhammad, you asked me about the concept of lighting. So I would like to suggest you to 
search and read books. Here are some of the books I have. I have a collect a lots of collections of books. This one is very good. I have this one. I have this one. I have this one. And lots of other books which you cannot see here. I have also this one. So please try to read books first because I cannot teach you everything about lighting because it's too broad and you need to study it really at least the basic okay you can also have this one this is a very good one and also i have this very old book which i think i can i see it here before that is um ah here i have this book <laughs> this is very old i bought a um, second hand book in the amazon so maybe okay i also have this one this is too small but i have that one architectural lighting design yeah this is the one i'm telling architectural lighting design with light and space um, i would like to suggest you to first read books and check the websites for lighting designs i have one of my, my favorite uh, website is this architectural lighting. They have their blogs, basic concepts, their opinion, opinions, latest trends, latest designs. So you just look for it and search it. And also have an inspiration for lots of lighting designs built. So uh, here in Dubai, I always look in the buildings which has very good in lighting. I keep myself always inspired about lighting. They said that if you are a lighting designer, you should be very passionate about lighting. And since architecture is also my profession, so it's a combination of art and another art and science. So that's why building plus light, oh, it's a tremendous one. So that's why I created lots of beautiful designs because of my passion in architecture and in lighting. Well, this is just my opinion. So if you really want to become a very effective lighting designer and if you want to work it as, as your hobby, as your passion, as your something it's not your like working with, um, I would like to suggest you to uh, look for it, be inspired, and yeah, look at your surroundings. Criticize all those ugly lights. Criticize all those ugly buildings at night. Uh, create an opinion of yourself and try to use it in your work and you will be I promise you you will be one of the best okay so there are lots of inspirations all right so I show you some of my books and my inspirations and the blogs or the website that I'm always with and connected with it is linked to my Facebook account so just like it and uh, for the next video, I will show you and we will light this beautiful house. Alright, that's it for now. Bye.